Um, Mark is going to do a presentation in uh, File Picker with Ruby on Rails. Nice. Really interesting topic on uh, file uploads. Um, Alright, Mark, when you're ready. Yeah. 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 What? I thought you were going to do it. You have to wear the headgear. <laughs> you have to wear the headgear. <laughs> Alright, fine. Yeah, that's, that's required. Alright, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, do the bumper. <laughs> do the rough thing. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> hey Mark, you might have right. to. Yeah, I think you're blowing it up. Yeah, this is better. This is better. Hey, Alright, so for those who don't uh, know me, uh, my name is Mark. I currently am interning with Twit Music. I've been with them for three months and have been learning Ruby and Rails. And this will be my first uh, ever frog meetup presentation. So please go easy yeah. on me. Go easy on me. He's going to be on YouTube. All right, that's not helping. <laughs> okay. So um, basically my topic today will be on file picker. Uh, file uploads by file picker. Um, now for those who don't know file picker, file picker is a easy, powerful upload file upload um, SaaS. Uh, or also known as uh, software as a service. Um, they, they easily help you connect, store, and process your files from anywhere on the web. And yeah, so the first slide will be on what this presentation is not about. So this presentation is not about comparing uh, other Ruby uploader uh, libraries with um, this one. Uh, and this is not a marketing spin. I am not trying to sell you the product. <laughs> I am working with Twit Music, so believe me, I'm just sharing with you my experience with Filepicker. And um, one more thing, I won't be going through the whole setup of Filepicker, so I'll just be showing you some code and um, for you to uh, get started with Filepicker. Yeah. Now there are a lot of, plenty of <laughs> options. Um, for those who are well known and uh, for those who are experienced in Ruby, um, I'm sure you know the ones in Ruby. Uh, in jQuery, we have Uploadify, PL Upload, and, and lots more. Fancy Upload is pretty cool as well. Um, now here's the catch. With, with Ajax, um, there's no way for you to upload your files. And the only way to do this, or to accomplish this, is through an iframe or through any runtime um, branch, yeah. And um, what is the typical, what is the typical standard for everyone, uh, for every dev developer to process their files? Uh, it would be through, well, what, what we want to accomplish is to directly upload to S3 and have a progress bar, why not? And we would normally accomplish this through having two library setups. Uh, one would be uh, for with jQuery or um, a JavaScript library such as Uploadify so that you can upload your uh, file straight to S3. And the other one would be uh, through Carrier Wave to assign it remotely to S3. Uh, now what does every client and every developer want? Um, we want 100% upload success rate but here it says only 99% because there is no way we can assure that your uploads are 100%. But what we want is at least a 99% chance of a successful up upload rate. Um, we want constant maintenance with new browsers. We don't want to go through the hassle of testing whenever a new version comes out or testing with old versions. You know, uh, we want we want this to be taken care of. <coughs> And of course, we want great documentation, great support, and a good demo if they support it. Uh, Non-blocking I/O uploads with progress bar, and of course, um, a hassle-free way to upload directly to S3. Yeah, uh, AWS S3. <laughs> now, what we don't want, like I said, tests on several browser versions, especially the new ones, and IE. Not saying that I'm against IE or anything, <laughs> but um, yes, and having to deal with your clients and ask them to use Firefox. I mean, 
it's kind of it's kind of a shame if, if they could come to you and ask you uh, and, and think that your system works 100%. So this is um, a very very uh, struggling uh, problem that everyone has to face. But what we really really don't want is to receive these little patches. And uh, for those who know. <laughs> So basically, file picker, um, you can integrate in your Rails app two ways. Uh, one way would be through the gem file, and the other way would be through the JavaScript, well, the JavaScript way. Sorry, what's the first way? Uh, the gem file uh, using Ruby. Ruby yeah. OK, so um, <laughs> I'll be giving you the demo app, and um, I'll be showing you a general way of um, how file picker works and what its strengths are. So, um, in this... Uh, if you guys can't see it, like, feel free yeah, to just uh, feel free come to around. Like, just be back here, and it's like, um, Harper's there, if you guys can sit down. So, um... Just chair here. Yeah. Basically, the way, the, the route that I chose was JavaScript. Um, not that I don't like Ruby or anything, but, um, it's way it's it's pretty fast and you get a lot of, uh, lot of a lot of things going on straightforward and it's straightforward. Um, so here, um, all they require you to do is to uh, create a file picker JS and uh, copy paste um, the code. Uh, this code right here, if you guys can see it. And then um, you basically. Uh, register an account on file picker and they give you a uh, set key for you to um, use and um, here I'll be showing you guys two examples one would be uh, the pick function that they provide this is the most general most common way to use file picker um, I already have the demo set up so in this pick fun function um, I added a console log for us to see uh, the URL that uh, is passed on to us. Um, and I outputted the image that we uploaded um, so that all of us can see that it's actually there. So this is the 400, 400 by 400 uh, pixel example. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, you want me for, for the breakdowns after that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the good thing about Fabricer, <laughs> <laughs> the good thing about Fabricer is that it provides so many services. Um, like it says, you can um, connect, store, and process any file anywhere on the web. So you have the option to get your files from Facebook, Gmail, um, GitHub, SkyDrive. But um, on this Dropbox. example, I'll just, yeah, even Dropbox. I'll just uh, upload a simple file from my, uh, what is it, where is it? Okay. <laughs> so you guys know Paul, right? <laughs> where is he? Paul is, um, <laughs> he's over there and he's over here. <laughs> so, <laughs> how does he do it? <laughs> so this is a, a simple upload. Um, it, it shows you the image at original size, um, but what if you want to customize it a bit? What if you want to set a limit to the width and height, um, just so it can be somewhat, um, it can somewhat fit in um, your interests or your, yeah. <laughs> so instead of using the pick method, um, we can use the pick and store method. But here, um, I added another function, which is the convert function. Instead of having two functions, I added them both together so that it processes both at the same time. So um, you guys can see clearly. Um, here, I added, I, I limited the, the services to just Facebook, um, personal computer, and Gmail. And uh, here, I added, um, only images as the uh, file upload type. And I also added a location, which is S3, with a specific path uh, to once once I upload it. 
Uh, currently, it's only on S3, but um, I think they have plans on uh, expanding. Yeah, file oh, file formats. Um, any, actually. Uh, yeah, they have video, music, MP3, MP4, um, documents, everything, all that. Yeah. And naked photos. Naked photos, too. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> how about file size? How, um, how big can you store? Uh, <laughs> so far, I haven't seen uh, any problems with the limits. They, they, they do have specific sizes that you can restrict. Um, it's all on the web page, but uh, in this demo, I, I'm not really discussing the sizes. <laughs> But you can check it out. They have uh, certain certain limitations to uh, the size of the um, So yeah, the first process would be to pick pick the file and to store it on S3. And my second process, which is uh, here, is to convert the file um, and to give the image uh, a max width and max height of 400 pixels. And um, not only uh, will I just crop it, but I'll also store the, the, the cropped uh, file, or the converted file, um, to a different folder so that we can all see that it actually is cropped and stored. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll, take the same, we'll take the same image and see if it works. So it can't go beyond it can't go beyond uh, 400. So it has to remain um, inside the boundaries. And as you guys noticed, um, there they actually provide a progress bar, which is really cool. So there you go. You have calls. It's not necessarily 400 by four, uh, 400 by 400, but it doesn't exceed the limit, which is 400. It does have a crop. Um, I, I'm just converting it, but there, there, there's a way to crop it. They do have options there. They have a facial recognition thing as well. Yeah, Can that too. Can you I, I haven't touched it, but it's it's there in the documentation. <laughs> you mean to, to determine gender? <laughs> <laughs> I think we use sex to do that. That'd be really good. Oh, but um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, there are a lot of options uh, in the docs. Doc demo is pretty cool, straightforward. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me afterwards. I think we're short on time, but yeah. Or if you guys have anything to add, uh, anything? The floor is yours. This <laughs> currently, yes, uh, we are working with it on Twit Music. Um, we're using uh, several other libraries as well, but um, yes, we are using. I would advise everyone to like try it. Give it a try. Your service is um, it's really good compared to uh, most. Is it free? I mean, the, the reason why we're getting this presentation out as well is because in the past we worked with a lot of these uploading scripts, and um, we we we've been there through the pain of like each trying the different browsers trying to upload, and and then you you know you you, you, you get complaints from them saying I can't upload. And what you do is you go on the forums, you, you, you install the new version, and then you, you get feedback from other people suggesting like solutions, this and that, and it works, and it works for a while, and then the same problem happens again. It's like file uploads with newer browser versions, it's kind of a headache sometimes, right? It's a service that you have to pay for, but in the end you're going to pay for something, uh, hopefully they do the job um, in the end for it, right? So that's, that's what the SaaS services are all about anyways, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So yeah, any questions, uh, you can ask me after the presentation. So, uh, yeah, what's the payment? Oh, it's financials, it's, it's all on your website. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just an intern. <laughs> 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 I'm not selling the product. <laughs> a good question. <laughs> just to make sure, it also supports multiple file uploads. You can upload more yes. than one file at a time. So um, yes, they do have that option. We are actually using that, that as well. I couldn't cover everything because there are a lot of a lot of options you, you have, but multi-file uploads are are definitely in there as well. So, yeah. Any other questions? Great. Thank you.